today we are going to be doing some extra fun with displacements again so today we are going to be displacing a geometry uh, we are going to be creating a fair of layer but in a spherical way so we'll see how we can do that uh, some more fun with displacement and let's see so I'm gonna take my sphere here and let me just make the radius to 2 I think this is good enough and I'm gonna make this to about 40 and 40 Right, so once you're done with that, let's apply our new material and start playing with our displacement. So let's call this ferro. And I'm going to make the metalness to me 0.5. Uh, sorry, 0.5. And the roughness will be somewhere about 0.6. The color will be black. And let's make it 5. Yeah. All right, so once you're done with this, let's go to our hyper shade where everything happens. So let's go to graph network. And here, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'll go to my Arnold here, and instead of using Arnold AI noise, this time we are going to be using our native noise, which is going to be the volume noise. So I'm going to go into the Maya and search for a noise. And in the native noise, we have a lot of different noises, noise, simplex noise, and volume noise. We'll choose volume noise. Uh, the reason we are choosing volume noise is because we have a kind of a organic looking noise with this one. It looks pretty amazing, it looks pretty good. So we have a lot of things to play around with. So the first thing that we have is a threshold and we have talked about noises a lot of time. We have used this a lot of times. So I'm not gonna get into too much details. I'm just gonna show you what I played with. So the first thing that I, uh, we are going to do is basically turn on the more ratio and with the ratio, you'll see how much uh, the level of details you're going to get. So actually what we want is this kind of details, but we are not going to be using that kind of detail with this one. Uh, you'll see in a bit why so, and then we have the frequency ratio. I'm going to keep the rest will be completely default I'm going to make this inflection and uh, Again, if you want you can increase the depth max you can increase the quality you decrease the quality however you want and uh, Maybe increase the time time will just add more patterns if you it's basically acts like a seed in the noise So you can increase or decrease the time if you want if you want a different pattern and I'm going to increase the frequency to somewhere about maybe like a 20 so here you'll see we have much smaller noise and instead of scale one i'm going to make this six and in the z6 as well so we have larger pattern going on and in the implode instead of exploding i'm going to implode this to somewhere like this and which is not exactly that good looking so we have something like this and let's see how it goes so i'm going to attach this to the displacement and there you go. One thing to do at final is uh, reducing the density here. And here density basically controls how much uh, amount of particles there is, how much amount of noise there is going to be. So I'm going to reduce the density to somewhere about, this totally depends on you, but I'm going to make it somewhere about 0.3. I think this amount of noise is good enough and I'm going to attach this to the displacement. All right, so let's take our camera to start off with. And let's bring this out. And I'm going to take a resolution of maybe 1K. And let's switch it to GPU and let's make it 10. So, camera, select your camera, turn on your film gate. And I think this look is good, but I'm just going to make it 22. And let's lock it. So I have a default, uh, sorry, I have a HDR setup here and I'm using one of my own HDR from HDR collection uh, essential kit and if you want you can find ton of HDR free HDR as well. Uh, I just wanted to save time with lighting and so on. So let's turn this on, let's turn this on and let's pause this, bring this out here. Alright, so this is what we have, not exactly that good looking. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on my sphere and let's reduce the roughness here. And this is looking quite good now. The next thing that you notice is we don't have a lot of subdivision. So I'm going to come in here and make it 100 by 100. You can also make it a linear uh, subdivision as well, which uh, we are going to be doing. Uh, since we want since this is an abstract art the amount of subdivision is not exactly our concern. We just want a good result So let's see and there you go. So now yeah, I'm gonna make the iteration to two Much finer details and there you go. All right, so again, this is how it looks if you want you can scale this up again You can go to ferro go one level up in the displacement volume noise and uh, you can reduce the density if you want 
Now let's turn this on. And uh, here you'll notice what kind of result you're going to get. You can increase the density if you want. Much more spikes. I'm going to keep it to 0.3. So this looks pretty good to me. Again, you have tons of things to play around with. You can reduce the amount of uh, spikes by reducing the depth max. You can increase more spikes by increasing more depth map. Uh, so it's totally up to you. Again, you can also change your noise type to Berlin noise. And this is how you'll get different types of result. Volume wave. So this is exactly the reason why I choose uh, volume noise for this kind of thing. So I'm going to keep it to below. And this looks pretty good. And uh, I'm just gonna select my HDR, make the exposure to 1, and let's make this rotate 90 degree. Yeah, this is looking pretty nice, backlighting and everything. Okay. So again, uh, this is how you can create a ferrofluid looking geometrical displacement. Uh, you can try this once your shader is ready, you can try this on top of any geometry. Like, I'm going to make this ferro and uh, quickly increase the subdivision amount here to something like this and uh, also add a linear of 2. There you go. And the displacement is too high. I'm going to control the displacement by simply reducing the height. And yeah, there you go. So let's make it point 0.2. There you go. So for uh, this type of geometry, for the cube purpose, I think the noise is too small. So we have to increase the scale, uh, but you get the idea. So once your shader is ready, uh, I highly suggest adding, playing around more with your noise because once your shader is ready, you can pretty much do anything that you want with it. Okay, and I'm going to increase this. Let's apply our material. Play this again and add some more linear uh, again you can use cataclog as well a uh, linear just add a linear subdivision cataclog just adds more smoother subdivision and uh, so there you go and now if you look at here you have nice subdivision displacement of ferro going on you can reduce this if you want you can make it 0.100 i think that's too low 0.500 yeah, there you go so have fun with this again, play around with this. This was just a simple abstract art using the displacement map, pretty short video. Have fun with this and I'll see you in the next video.